Are you struggling to succeed with online dating? Well today, we're gonna fix that. What's going on man? My name is Dave and I put out new videos every single week to help you get the girls you want and become the man you're meant to be. Now, as a dating coach, I have seen hundreds of guys dating profiles. And out of maybe four or 500 that I've seen, I would say one was passable as an actual quality dating profile. The rest had very weak photos, very weak bios, and it didn't matter how like naturally good looking or not the guy was, his profile was just absolute trash. What this means for you though, is that there are some very easily correctable mistakes that can just instantly catapult you to like the top 3% of men on dating apps so that you're getting access to much higher quality girls, you're getting more dates, you're getting more experience, and you're having a lot more fun. Now I'm gonna reveal what these mistakes are in this video so you can correct them, go out there, make it happen, start dating some sexy girls. Let's get into it. The first big mistake guys make is not using online dating at all. And I know the reason why. They say, oh, girls have all the power. They're the ones who can swipe right and match every time. And guys are the ones who are sort of the sellers, right? This is simply an excuse for guys who don't want to put the effort in to actually you know, create a good profile that is going to get higher quality girls. So here's why every guy should be using online dating, at least as a part of the way that they're meeting women. So first, it gives you an easy way to get first dates. When most guys get started meeting women, they try doing you know, nightlife, they try doing stuff during the day, and sometimes it can be hard to get a lot of dates, especially in the very beginning when you're doing that. But with online dating, you can line up dates quite quickly and go out there and get that first date experience, which is gonna make you a lot better with women. It's also gonna give you experience with texting. You're gonna understand you know, how to go from that first message to actually getting to the date and getting her out versus just like mumbling and bumbling through three weeks of texting like some guys do. And again, as you're learning to meet women in person, which you should be, the online dating stuff is gonna help you to build abundance. You're not gonna be so worried about, you know, if one girl flakes, cause you know, hey, you can go line up like three dates this week from online dating and it's not a big deal. Basically, online dating is just a super solid tool in your toolbox where you're gonna meet potential girlfriend material girls, you're going to gain a lot more experience, you're gonna hone your skills, and you're gonna get a lot better. All right, now let's get to some of the actual profile mistakes. So, selfies are one of the worst mistakes I see very many guys make. They take the gym selfies, the, uh, the bathroom mirror selfies, the hiking selfies. Listen, it doesn't matter where your selfie is or how good you think you look in that selfie, there should never be any selfies on a guy's dating profile. It is the biggest no-no out there. It shows absolute minimal effort, which high quality girls are not going to find attractive. And it also makes it look like you don't have any friends. You don't have anyone to go help you take pictures. What you should do instead is buy like a $10 tripod on Amazon, set the phone up, or set your iPhone up on the tripod and use that whenever you're alone taking a photo. Or whenever you're walking around with friends, have them snap a few shots in a few different poses with yourself. This is what me and Beast used to do all the time. Or if you really wanna get some high quality shots, you can hire someone off of a service like Snapper where you just bring in a photographer, hire them for a few hours and have them take a bunch of photos for you. And by the way, if you want help creating an awesome dating profile that's gonna get you lots of high quality matches and dates, that's a big part of what we do in the Beast Dating Coaching Program. We'll show you exactly how to create a high quality profile. We'll give you feedback on your pictures, your bios, and show you exactly what photos you need to go out there and take, and give you live in-depth feedback on the bio so you can make those tweaks they're gonna get girls interested. We even help you figure out what messages to send next to the girl in real time so when you do get matches, you're lining up consistent dates. This has helped many of the guys in our program line up three to four dates a week, even within just the first few weeks of joining. Now, if you wanna discover more about the program, just click the first link in the description. We'll get a bunch of info on it there and you can click the button to apply. Working with us is by far the fastest way, not just to improve with online dating, but to improve the way you're meeting women in general and really have an abundant dating life. Again, just click that first link in the description and I'll see you on the inside. Most guys have very little variety in their online dating profile. Maybe they will put the effort in to go out and do a photo shoot, but then they'll have like five pictures in the same outfit or with the same background. 
and it'll be kind of boring. Other guys, like we talked about, do all selfies or all group photos. And a lot of guys post all their photos like inside, which is pretty much the worst type of background you can have. Like all your photos in general pretty much wanna be outdoors. When you don't have any variety, it doesn't look like you have any depth as a man. You the whole point of the pictures is to show the depth of your personality, show that you're a fun guy, you're an interesting guy, and she's gonna wanna get to know you. Six group photos of you at a wedding along with two selfies in the gym are not gonna do that. Now, in order to mix it up and add that variety, what you can do is have like two to three stylish photos. You can have one or two hobby photos, maybe like dropping back, throwing a football, throwing a baseball, you know, on a paddleboard, something else that you enjoy doing. A photo of you with the dog, and even like an adventurous or travel photo of you in a different country or going on a hike or something like that. In general, you should be slightly looking away from the camera when you take these photos. It's gonna look more natural, and you should also vary the backgrounds a bit. And don't forget to throw in some smiles. You don't wanna be looking super serious in every single photo. You should probably have like 60% smiling, 30% with a more serious look. When it comes to online dating and really even just texting in general, you should be getting to the point and the point is to get that girl out of that text message conversation and out on a date with you. A lot of guys screw this up though. I see a lot of long drawn out conversations where guys are talking to this girl for weeks or days or they're sending huge chunks of text like just paragraphs on paragraphs on paragraphs and eventually the girl stops responding she's like if this guy was ever gonna ask me to hang out like no well I'm done talking to him the big problem with texting so much is you're over investing in a girl you haven't even met yet sure this girl might seem cool over text but you don't know if she's actually cool you don't know if you guys are actually gonna vibe if you're gonna have any chemistry the only way to know that is to hang out with her in person and the more you text her before that eventual first meetup, the more time you're wasting and the less likely that meetup will ever happen. In general, you don't need any more than four texts back and forth, like four texts from you, four texts from her, before you go for the hangout. And sometimes you can even do it in less than that. But you should be in the habit of leading these conversations nice and quick to the date. If she's down, she's down. Y'all can meet, y'all can hang out. And if not, okay, you're on to the next one. It's not a big deal, but you're not wasting time texting girls for days that you don't even know. The whole point of the dating profile is to come across as that fun guy she'd want to hang out with. Now the way you completely screw that up is by coming across way too literal in your bio and in your prompts. You see it all the time, like guys will say exactly what they want in their profile, like cool guy looking for a fun girl to go on adventures with or tired of all the hookups, looking for a long-term relationship. This is not gonna get a girl excited to come out and hang out with you. She's not looking forward to hanging out with the cool guy looking for girls to go on adventures with. What is gonna get her excited and make you look like a fun guy is more of that tongue-in-cheek style when you're answering your bio and your prompts. So yeah, basically you're having fun with these prompts. So I'll pull up Bumble right now, I'll give you a couple examples, right? So. One prompt is, my zombie apocalypse plan is dot dot dot. You could say, to become one of the zombies, if you can't beat them, join them. The world would be a better place with more Chick-fil-A on Sundays. A review by a friend, five stars, would chill with him again. If you laugh at this, we'll get along. Any of Bill Burr's comedy. The point is, you're having fun. You're not being super serious. Girls are gonna read this, maybe they'll laugh a little bit, they'll get a little sense of your personality, and they'll say, you know what? If this guy has this good of a sense of humor, I'm sure it'll be fun hanging out with him. And that's gonna make it a lot more likely that you'll get dates. Now, like I said, if you want some more help with your online dating profile, that's something we help guys with all the time and really help them to, to get a lot more dates. So if you want that, check out the first link in the description to learn more. And I will see you guys in the next video. Later.